What's up guys, StuDog here. Today I'm going to be taking a look at this April 1st, 2018 OCG ban list. Oh my god, Konami. Why, why do you keep making these ban lists on April 1st or something? Because seriously, everyone just always thinks it's going to be an April Fool's joke or something. Like, after all these years, they haven't really learned their lesson. And now, like, half the people are going to be like, oh, this is going to be an April Fool's joke. <laughs> Well, uh, we're, we're just going to have to see about that. Most likely, this is not an April Fool's joke. I've already heard some people think that. But anyway, here we go. OCG vanless time. We got one new errata that we'll get to later. Starting out with the bands, we got the Blackwing Go for the Vague Shadow and the Phenexian Cluster guy that I don't feel like pronouncing. So, Gofu, this was long overdue, I guess, for the OCG, since it was banned in the TCG first. Most of the time, the TCG follows the OCG. Not every time the OCG follows the TCG, but uh, this is one of those few cards that, you know, I'm not a fan of. You know, I'm a long-time Blackwing fan. You know, it wasn't even Blackwing's fault that this card got banned, but I guess, I mean, it's just too good. Just free Link summons for the win. With, uh, for the price of literally nothing there. And you go plus for the price of nothing. And it's free link summons. And, yeah, a lot of free stuff isn't really that good. Uh, yet they still don't hit scapegoat, though, which is interesting. I know scapegoat's slow because you have to set it and you have to wait to your opponent's end phase or something. You can't really play it on your own turn. But, I mean, I guess you go through it's a lot more busted. You just play it on your own turn. And if you draw it at one, it's just a little too sacky. And now this card right here... That was just for some random plant FTK. You know, whenever just some random card like you never heard of just gets banned, you always know it's some random FTK. And yeah, that was the case for this. So congratulations, I guess. Not out of the TCG, so who cares? Destiny Hero Disc Commander with the Errata. Okay, so out of all cards to Errata, they choose Disc Commander. I don't really know how I feel about this. Either way, it's a once per duel effect that cannot activate the same turn as sent to the graveyard. It's kind of like breakthrough skill or something. Like you can't just break through skill the same turn you, let, you mill it. So, I mean, if you mill this, you can't just like use uh, revive it from the graveyard to get that free pot of greed like Nas nah, Sun. And it is only once per duel, which I mean, I, I guess I can see. They could have made it that when it gets sent to the graveyard after it gets revived, it gets banished. Kind of like Plague Spreader Zombie. But I mean, I guess just once per duel is a lot more safer because. There's cards like DDR and Levier that can revive stuff from the Banish Zone, so congratulations. So that Disc Commander Errata going to be interesting when that will come, because, I mean, whenever an Errata comes to the OCG, it will come to the TCG one of these days. I mean, I, I was so shocked when that Goyo Guardian Errata actually came to the TCG, and like I was like, oh, there's no way they're actually going to Errata Goyo Guardian for the TCG, and they actually did. So now Goyo Guardian sees absolutely no play whatsoever because of that terrible errata. That's still one of the worst erratas I've seen in my entire life, man. But one of these days, this will come to the TCG, probably not for like another year or something, but uh, look out for that. So um, Double Iris Magician Limited, it's banned in the TCG. So I'm kind of surprised that they did just, just ban it. Like they were following Gofu and banning the Gofu, but they opted not to ban the Double Iris. So, I mean, congrats, I guess. Uh, they still don't have the Joker ban, but they also decided to limit Supreme King Dark Worm, which I guess is a solid hit for magicians as well, you know, so whatever. And here's another card that they decided to follow the TCG, they decided to limit the Grinder Golem as it was limited first to the TCG, and they're like, you know what, maybe these like free Link Summon spammy cards aren't really a good idea, so let's just get rid of that Grinder Golem and ban that Gopher, so congratulations, I guess. What else? Got Lone Fire at 1, which is pretty hilarious because Lone Fire is at 3. I mean, Lone Fire's been at 1 for the longest of times in the TCG. Then it went to 2, and then now it's officially at 3, and, like, it doesn't really do anything. But, wow, I guess they really don't like this plan engine. Like, the Predaprint Scorpio is also at 1, too. So it's like, well, rip that engine. Have fun, I guess. And now, this is the moment we've been waiting for. El Shadal Constrict is finally back. Wow, finally. So what does that mean? That means one of these days it's going to come back in the TCG. Oh my god, thank the lord. I can't believe the, uh, Clifford Towers came back before Construct. Like, it, it really doesn't make sense because Construct is much more fair than Clifford Towers. I mean, again, Construct and Towers, they got banned on the same day in the TCG. They ring back Towers first. A much more sackier card, a card that doesn't even make any money for Konami, because it's just like a, a 10 cent rare, like at least Construct, if this comes back, this could technically make Konami money, like if people want to go buy those old Megatons or something, but 
I mean, it, it really doesn't make sense why they didn't bring Construct back, but they brought Towers back for no reason. I guess they really wanted to promote those Klees, which haven't really been doing anything in the, in the current metagame, but whatever. So Construct finally back. Winda, I don't even know if this was banned. It says, is Winda going from 3 to 1 or 1? I don't even know, but either way, it looks like Winda's limited. Okay, then. You still got, you know, the other stuff, like the Water Shit All Guy and the Shiki Naga, but I mean, I mean, I guess. And I'll spell like a Knowledge Limited. Wow, really? Really? You know people can just go back to Wonder One, right? Y you do know that, right? I mean, spell like a Knowledge, it's searchable, and it's, you know, it's good because it's, it's not an equip spell. Like, you can mess up equip spells from, like, with, like, a Book of Moon and some other stuff, but... I mean, people are just going to go right back to the frickin' Wonder Ones. I mean, before Spell Book Knowledge came back, you were playing, like, two to three Wonder Ones in that Invoked Engine. So I really don't know what this actually accomplishes, but... I don't know, it's one of... It seems like OCG, they hit, like, random Spellbook stuff. They also hit Spellbook of Secrets in the OCG. TCG, the only two Spellbook cards I've ever been hit was Spellbook of Fate, which was at one. And then they realized that was pretty stupid. They brought it back to three. And then, of course, Spellbook of Judgment, which is still banned to this day. So, congratulations, but man, they really just don't like this Invoke stuff. They're also limiting the Metrova here, so it's like, wow, that's going to leave a mark. This card has been skyrocketing in the TCG when it comes to its card price, so, wow, interesting. They're also semi-limiting Ash Blossom. Wow, so it's going to get that Max C treatment. So, it's probably going to stay at 2 for the longest of times, and maybe one of these days they're going to decide to either ban it or put it to 3. It's just like that Max E treatment. It was at 3, and then it was at 2 for the longest of times. And then a lot of people are like, just bring it back to 3 or just ban it because it's just sacking. But actually, they decided to put Max C to 1, and then they banned it. So, it, wow, really? I didn't like Max C at 1 at all. I personally thought 2 was fine. I think Ash Blossom at 2 is kind of fine, but it's kind of like a necessity in certain formats to, like, have a chance to play because now you don't got that well actually is maxi banned in the ocg i don't even know so i guess if maxi's not banned i guess i can see that semi limit for the ash blossom but wow that's interesting alistair's going back to two i know alistair is at one so i guess your consistency that is a little better solemn j going to two i don't know about that seems like the ocg is very liberal when it comes to their traps they still got like the triple compulse they had bottomless and torrential at three like long before long 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 before the tcg decided to do any of that and they also had solemn judgment legal for years before it even came legal back to the tcg so it seems like ocg they're very liberal when it comes to this trap stuff so they're like f it solemn judgment to do here you go have fun true draco heritage as well this is like the super rejuvenation i remember tcg they got return hit and they got some of the monsters like they got the dynamite knight and they got the ignis heat i believe they actually don't have any of the true draco spell cards hit in the tcg but it's like one of the first ones which i, I do agree out of all the true draco spells this is definitely the one you probably want to hit because you know it does net much more advantage than like the other guy because the other one is kind of like situational so i mean congratulations then a limited tribe infecting still banned in the tcg summoner monk I don't know about this because now you can just keep on spamming the monks. So I don't know. Spellbook of Secrets has actually hit. That's pretty hilarious. So they decided to bring back the Spellbook of Secrets now that they're actually putting the knowledge. So kind of sucks that Spellbooks weren't even like the deck that put the secrets on the balance in the first place. And then freaking Reborn Tengu. What? This was actually still at two in the freaking OCG. Like, what? It's been doing absolutely nothing. I remember this came back to 3 in the TCG. It has literally done absolutely nothing. Oh, my God. Not like the good old days where Bore Tengu was splashed into everything. It was like, we're the best floaters ever. And people always rage because they drew multiples of it in their opening hand. But, yeah, Reborn Tengu at 3 does nothing. And now Pantheon, they're actually bringing back that Pantheism. So, I mean, that's good. I wouldn't mind the TCG to bring back maybe... I think I think Ether, man. I don't. I still think Pantheism and Stormforth are very, very powerful spell cards. But I say out of all Monarch stuff, because Monarchs really got hurt extremely hard on that one list, and it seems like it's just completely unplayable when you got Ether, Pantheism, and Stormforth all limited. So I say out of out of those three for the TCG, I say Ether probably is the best choice to bring back to three. I still don't like the card design of Pantheism. I was like not once per turn, and it just generates so much advantage being able to. Uh, banish it and then get it back with the Edia guy. 
But OCG, they decided to bring the pantheism back to three, and then freaking Pata Avarice, which I don't agree with at all. Like, Pata Avarice is way too powerful of a spell card. When you see when that was at three in the TCG, how good that was, and you saw how good it was at one. But man, they decided to put it back to three, and even Monster Gate, which I guess, congratulations. I don't really know how Infernoids are doing, but it seems like this could help out Infernoids quite a bit. So I don't really know how I actually feel about that monster gate going to three. But anyway, that is that OCG ban list there. Interesting stuff. It seems like, huh, it's just hit or miss. Like some of the stuff, like the, the whatever it's called, the knowledge going to one is pretty meh. But the construct coming back is really good. And like uh, the Alistair going to two is pretty Nah, but I mean they did clean up some good stuff like these these bands were I guess some decent bands and then hitting you know These two cards right here were also good But it, se it seems like it's hit or miss this OCG band. It's like some of the stuff is really good other stuff is like 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 really but I don't know Either way, that's the OCG band. Let's just want to get my thoughts on it Thank you all for watching this video as always we'll be back tomorrow with some dueling book dual commentary gameplay And that's all I got guys. So thanks for watching and until next time. This has been Stew Dog, and I'm signing out